pick one option and you die for it, mm -hmm. maybe just don't pick that option. Yeah. You know, in that sort of mix-up situation. And then, of course, there's the extra mix-up of all. In fact, if, you know, I'm going to die for doing this, and there's no way he would think that I would do it, which maybe that's what happened there. And I have Slingshot against Numbers. I believe this is uh, Luke. Uh, yeah, top six. So, um, something interesting about this, I feel like Slingshot, I played him earlier, seems to be a Diddy that really likes, I mean, pressing, as long as I'm pressing buttons, but I don't want to make that undersell him. He, he, he likes to use Diddy's buttons a lot more. He's kind of in your face a lot. He's, he's not really doing too much, like, running back with the banana. He's kind of trying to force the issue really often, which, you know, has its pros and cons, and we'll have to see how that fares against number. Oh, no, look at the barrels, they're behind you. Okay, that's no, fine. Oh man, this is one thing about this matchup, you can already see Numbers loves putting Diddy off stage and is destroying him there. Like, he's not even going for his normal combo start as a neutral or anything like that, because he wants to just push Diddy off stage, because that's where a lot of... You're gonna get the damage regardless if he's, you know, in the corner oh, out there. Oh, that, cool. that was almost... I would, probably would have killed, but you know, just a terrifying amount of damage with this deep breathing on deck. The hits of Uppy? Did numbers hold down a little bit or something like that? Not quite sure, but... Well, regardless, numbers in a commanding position. Look at that, that F tilt just killing you outright at, what was that, 80% before the hit? Yeah, deep breathing uh, F tilt, it's so strong on ledge because it, it lasts a good amount of time. It's like really solid for catching get ups and such like that. That might be enough to do it. Yup. Yeah. Gonna take him all the way to that side blast zone. But this is two stocks to one. And numbers looks like he's not letting up. He has just figured out exactly how he needs to play against this Diddy Kong. But like you said before, the pressure throwing out all of these extremely good Diddy buttons in numbers face is starting to work out. Yeah, I think what's gonna be really cool, uh, crucial for him, like using this this style of Diddy, is when he uses monkey flips. I feel like right now, Numbers is really comfortable just shielding all of these aerials, um, and hasn't really been command grab monkey flip that much besides closing out the stock. And that's it. yeah, Diddy does not need too much if you're really getting the bananas in. That's that's huge because now we have pretty much an even game between these. Oh my, no dead. way! Okay. He's, Honestly, he's, he's, he's a little insulted dead. that kill flashed. The, the, how strong is this back here? Oh, Ooh. going for something cheeky. I, I like the attempt. <laughs> <laughs> Double slots like that. Like that old video of the woman on the ice. <laughs> she keeps falling over and over. Oh, I do, I do know the video. Oh. All right. Now, numbers the woman on the ice, the way he's skating around the stage with that dash attack into the F tilt to cover neutral again. again I think Slingshot's gonna have to realize that numbers is gonna just react to this with that every time. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty dominant game one. Uh, not actually as dominant as I was kind of expecting. Yeah. There was that middle stock from Slingshot, really good, clean, and killed numbers at, at sub 70, I think. Basically, he got hit by the banana moves around 70%, I think. Yeah, that, uh, I feel like that was when Slingshot was playing the most like confident in his aggression. That's, that's when he was able to get that second stock. So I think it's really gonna be key that Slingshot is able to put on the pressure and when he gets hit, not let it stop him like putting on the pressure, like really quickly resume what he was doing so that Numbers does not get time to set up the deep breathing, get time to set up the Sun Salutation. Oh, oh that, jab. Jab. that jab has a backwards hitbox. Oh, what are these combos? Looking kind of cute. Yeah, he Ooh. loves Diddy's fair, I've noticed. Uh, I mean, and there's no reason you shouldn't. It's just so good at taking space away and also taking your stocks away. Is that down air catching an aggressive approach really something you gotta be so careful for against Diddy? They love using down air and banana down air. Oh, man. And not only that, it feels like numbers, he, he, like when you respawn, you try to go for that running at his shield. Which a lot of people, they will maybe get scared and do something, but no, Slingshot just immediately countered it. There is no fear in his heart. If John Numbers had managed to garner any type of uh, respect in game one, I think it's mostly gone after that first stock year. And, and that's so important, I think, like Slingshot has to realize as a player, is like, 
as soon as he feels fear, I feel like that's when he loses. So it's really good that he's able to not care about like losing game one and, and just let himself keep going. And also, Numbers kind of struggling to actually end stocks. You can get that much damage off of Diddy recovering. But look at this. Yeah, it gets back to the ledge. He actually oh, is in the position no. of power now. <laughs> wow. Cool. And it's, it's tough to find these dares against numbers. Like, I know on paper, we fit can have a kind of exploitable recovery um, when you have a move that hits as low as Diddy's dare. But numbers are usually so tricky. So, Slingshot, like we were talking about with uh, Dill, you beat numbers by being confident in your offstage callouts, and Slingshot is right now. Yeah, oh, and numbers is. His pressure is just not really doing what it needs to. Slingshot at 150. He's just like totally comfortable surviving right about now. Even back throws not enough to, to do it. Not without deep breathing at least. Numbers, I'm going to have to go for deep breathing. I feel like now might be the time, but instead he was just confident to be able to actually take it out with an up air instead. And Numbers' reactions to monkey flip this uh, this set has already been like really good. Like I feel like Switch has thrown like three monkey flips and like two of them Numbers has been able to react to really fast and up there. So clearly... Must know the audio cue or something. Really quick on the punching that move. And this could be bad. Oh. Oh, he had the idea right there. But Slingshot did a great job of delaying his side B. Okay, and this is not... Slingshot does not have this in the bag just yet. Yeah, like right there. This is... I'm not going to call this an even game, but it's very close to it. Especially yeah. if numbers can get a single combo starter while keep breathing is in effect. You can make back 60% easily. And that's the third stock out of the five stocks he's lost. He's lost to uh, F-Tilt on ledge. Gotta be really careful about that. Numbers have been kind of getting it for free. Maybe a uh, mix up how you're getting back on ledge is so big for not choking out this lead. Ooh. Could this be it off stage? Let's see. I feel like Slingshot is gonna go for something. He goes for the banana drop. Um, there. Kind of surprised he didn't hit him. Oh, that banana almost connected. Would have absolutely killed numbers if it did. But as it stands, 65% onto Slingshot. He doesn't have to be fearful of that much. Oh, but numbers on the other hand. Oh, he doesn't. He survives that back air. I believe he was in deep. Was he in deep breathing, I wonder? Because uh, that does increase the weight. Not gonna survive that one, though. Really good knowing the hitbox of your bear, knowing it hits kind of lower than the animation may suggest. It would have closed it out right there. Yep, and I'm sure if you saw that, number said run it back. We're going to be getting uh, Town and City for game three between these two. Yeah, look at that. Don't thread that needle. Yeah. Then it just barely dodge the soccer ball. So go oh, oh, what? Wow. How? Hold on a second. He touched it. Yeah, look, yeah, he it, it shows that. like the phantom he hit. That. Yeah, look, right there on his left go. foot. <laughs> That's funny. Does he not have a hurt box on his limbs this entire time? I suppose so. I think it was just like. I think it was just a really weird interaction. Um, that might have been Zeke Axis interaction, honestly. Yeah, he does kind of like rotate his body. Who knows, but Numbers knows that he wants to run it back. Clearly, he was figuring something out uh, towards the end of game two and almost brought a three-stock comeback. So it definitely makes sense that he's just running it back because he does not think the stage is the problem. He thinks it was something in his play that he seems to be fixing up right now. Has 85% on Slingshot, only 26 on Numbers. Okay. Big damage here, possibly. Numbers with that berry. This could be massive. Oh, he wanted that down smash, but directionally air dodging up was actually the key right there. And now Slingshot, he's at 107, but... Well, the question... Oh, man, if he could get back down at this point, he possibly could get something really big started. But instead, Numbers chucking his own banana in his face. Going to be finishing it off with that forward smash. Only 40% on Numbers as he uh, as now Slingshot needs to deal with his second stock. And I feel like this is where like his aggression can get the best of him. Is when you're down like this, he's going to keep forcing the issue. And I think Numbers now knows how to deal with it. We already saw that anti-air coming out with the up tilt. Completely invincible. He can just shut down stuff. Oh, that was almost really clever, though. Good DI for Numbers to keep away from that down air. He has taken, I feel like the damage, you know, they've been dealing equivalent damage at this point. But the issue is that Numbers took that massive lead. So if they're going blow for blow, that works out in Numbers' favor. Definitely not dying with the deep breathing right there in town. Really big ceiling. 
that one gonna do it though. Oh, that was such a clever usage of the banana. Just kind of throwing it when Numbers thinks he has enough room to walk up the platform. Yeah. By the way, tiny piece of interaction that I've seen is that. Oh my god. That, well, that's an interaction. Up smash. Yeah, that, I feel like one thing people aren't really ready for is WeFit's dash speed is really. Or initial dash is really fast. So WeFit could get to place to place like super quick. So probably thinking he just had plenty of time in a neutral get up. Weaver was on the ledge. Did not actually. John Numbers able to dash there so quickly. And, okay, good job rolling past that. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, interaction. Sure. Oh, wow. What a great timing. What was what, that Falcon nonsense? Down air on stage? It's, it's, a, it's a very big uh, down air. Did he's down air? Definitely coming in clutch so many times has been probably the thing he's used the most to take out stocks. Okay, we'll be breathing now in effect once more. 71% on slingshot. There are specific setups that numbers has that would kill right about now. Now he's at a hundred, definitely there are. He's looking, oh, yeah, he's looking for that F tilt once more. You were saying how he's gotten a ton of stocks with it. But I like the see the not so scared of it now. He's going for these higher recoveries and numbers is recognizing oh. and reacting to those as well. And there it is, the trade. He gets the banana, but in return, he gets the sun. I feel like every time or the, every time that last sequence, Slingshot just as soon as he got hit, instantly picked another option. Didn't really wait around much, didn't mix up the timing to it. I feel like it was a bit of a state of panic, just constantly was doing something towards the direction of numbers and numbers. Punched it over and over to get a near zero to death to end the last game. And that was just mostly like it was it was an interesting set. You know, you think after game one it would have been like pretty uh pretty handily numbers favor, but slingshot able to bring it back and I think it's I think numbers just need it was mostly like when Slingshot was a confident and when he was aggressing, he won. And it was just a matter of Slingshot being confident without panicking. All right, next on stream, actually, we're going to be having uh, a rematch from what we saw earlier on. It was Kamex versus John Numbers. John Numbers kind of gave him the business Did when they know. played in winners. Was uh, that Kamex going Joker or was it Sonic? That was Sonic. Sonic? Okay, because I know Kamex has been messing around with Joker a bit. We'll have we to will see. see the Joker this time.